Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video we're going to be DIYing our own glitter slime. So let's get started! First of all, get yourself a good quality clear PVA glue. Next up is this ultra sparkling glitter which comes in 12 amazing colors. First color is red which is one of the three primary colors in painting. In physics, red is the longest wavelength of light discernible to the human eye. It falls in the range of 620 to 750 nanometers in the visible spectrum. Human eyes perceive orange color when observing light with a dominant wavelength between roughly 585 and 620 nanometers. In painting and traditional color theory, it is a secondary color of pigments produced by mixing yellow and red. In the RGB color model, it is a tertiary color. It is named after the fruit of the same name. Yellow is found between green and orange on the spectrum of visible light. It is a color the human eye sees when it looks at light with a dominant wavelength between 570 and 590 nanometers. Green is the color between blue and yellow on the visible spectrum. It is evoked by light which has a dominant wavelength of roughly 495 to 517 nanometers. Blue is one of the three primary colors of pigments in painting, drawing, art, and traditional color theory, as well as in the RGB color model. The eye perceives blue when observing light with a dominant wavelength between approximately 450 and 495 nanometers. Violet is the color of light at the short wavelength end of the visible spectrum between blue and invisible ultraviolet. Violet light has a wavelength between approximately 380 and 435 nanometers. The color's name is derived from the violet flower. Bronze is a metallic brown color which resembles a metal alloy bronze. Metallic gold color is a dark yellowish color which resembles the purest form of gold that shines in all its golden glory. Metallic silver isn't entirely a true or solid color. It's a reflective tone that can only be attained through the use of reflective pigments with gray as a base. White is the lightest color and is achromatic, having no hue. It is a color of snow, chalk, and milk and is the opposite of black. White objects fully reflect and scatter all the visible wavelengths of light. Whichever tone you choose, the color pink is ultimately a combination of red and white. Pink is named after a flower of the same name. Then we have a metallic pink. A metallic color is a color that appears to be that of a polished metal. The visual sensation usually associated with metals is its metallic shine. Okay, so let's quickly make our slimes. I've already added the clear PVA glue. So I'm going to be using the red glitter to make the first slime. Add the liquid tide gradually till you see slime forming. If it comes away from the plate, this means your slime is ready. Just knead it very thoroughly. Now roll, squish, and squeeze the slime between your fingers. Your slime is so soft and squishy and so stretchable. If you see suds or if you see soapy bubbles around the slime, all that is just from the liquid tide and the slime is ready to play with. Now if you're adding glitter to your slime, which is the best glitter to use? Well, that depends on the look you're actually going for. Do you want bright, bold, and chunky glitter? Or do you want fine, reflective sparkle highlighting your color transitions? Depending on how you add your glitter to the choice of slime, it will either look like it's embedded into the slime or it will look like it's floating on top. What type of glitter can be added? Well, a lot of types. Micro glitter, chunky glitter, holographic glitter, nail glitter, makeup glitter, and super fine glitter. You can vary the glitter and size by color, by thickness, by combination, and by placement. Why am I talking so much about glitter? Because it's just too much fun. So what are the types of glitter? We have ultra fine glitter, which are these gorgeous micro glitters, which sparkle and shine in the most beautiful way. I've added this type of glitter to every slime as toppers or just subtly mixed in. Then we have the multi-sized glitters. You can find fine pigment glitter in one color, bright bold glitters in different sizes, holographic glitters and even different cutout shapes of glitters. Mix and blend in the glitter to give your decorative slime that dazzling look. Now iridescent glitter can add a very realistic glittery effect. A little goes a very long way. You can use these glitters to mix in 
to the clear slime or you can sprinkle them on top for that added glam look. However you choose to use this type of glitter, the super gorgeous colors are quite light catching and reflective like a geode. Then we have the holographic glitter. This hollow glitter catches all the colors of the rainbow and can be a gorgeous accent to any slime. Coming up to the chunky glitter, the larger glitter will look more like different edges of a gemstone as it will reflect light in larger proportions. So when it comes to large chunky glitter, using it as a topper is the best thing. Then we have the nail glitter which I am using in this video. This is great because you can buy a big set like this, like a dozen with many different colors in it and get a really good variety of color. You can absolutely use nail glitter to add sparkle and some pigment to your slimes. Then we have the eyeshadow glitter which you can mix pressed powder eyeshadow to your slime to get a gorgeous color that sparkles and shines in the most beautiful way as well. We love sparkles, we love slime, so it's only natural that we love them together, right? This sparkly glittery slime is super quick to make and there are a lot of fun ways to use it. I will store it in this cute apple shaped plastic container to give you the display of the whimsical colorful slimes. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do. But I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah says bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.